Welcome back to Fox Studios Recaps, in this episode I am explaining Marvel's recent action slash thriller movie Doctor Strange, in the multiverse of madness. So the movie starts in the gap junction, the space between universes, America Chavez and Doctor Strange race to the Book of Vishanti while attempting to evade a ribboned creature. Strange's attempts to contain the monster-proof feudal, leading him to try to steal Chavez's power to travel across universes, knowing that the process would kill her. However, the demon kills Strange before he could do so, and Chavez inadvertently opens a portal to Earth-616 which she and Strange's corpse fall into. Doctor Strange wakes up, believing this vision to be a nightmare. He then dresses up to attend Christine Palmer's wedding as he remains sentimental about the time they were together, but Palmer insists that the relationship would have failed regardless. During the celebration, an invisible entity begins to terrorize the streets of New York. Strange is forced to respond and reveals the entity as a gargantos, a gigantic tentacled monster. Also present is Chavez, whom Strange recognizes from his nightmare and rescues her. Wong arrives at the scene from Camartage, and together they kill gargantos by gouging its eye out. Strange and Wong consult Chavez, and she explains that the demons were hunting her for her powers. As the two remain skeptical, she takes them to Defender Strange's corpse to prove that Strange's nightmare was actually a peek into his counterparts across the multiverse. Upon further inspection of Defender Strange's corpse, Strange discovers runes of witchcraft that were also present on the tentacled monster. Thus, he visits Wanda Maximoff at her farm to ask her about what she knows about the multiverse but discovers that the farm is a chaos magic conjuration. With the Darkhold in her possession, Maximoff reveals herself as the one who sent the demons after Chavez, believing that she can reunite with Billy and Tommy once she is able to take over the multiverse. She also gives Strange before sundown to surrender Chavez otherwise, she would hunt her down herself. Strange rejects her demands. As Chavez is over at Camartage, the masters of the mystic arts fortify the place in preparation for Maximoff's assault with a magic shield and various other defenses. However, Maximoff's telepathy targets one sorcerer and disables his magic, leading the shield to collapse, allowing her to shred through the resistance of Camartage. Strange entraps her within the mirror dimension, to no avail. Cornered, Chavez accidentally opens a portal, allowing herself and Strange to flee across the multiverse. They land in Earth-838, a futuristic New York City, where they walk towards the New York Sanctum in search of his counterpart in this universe, but as that counterpart had died defeating Thanos, they are instead greeted by this universe's Sorcerer Supreme, Baron Mordo. Mordo invites them to sit down for tea, and the two warn him of the Scarlet Witch. They soon pass out as Mordo had poisoned the tea, and awaken in a facility elsewhere where they meet. That universe is Christine Palmer, who works there as a scientist to help with managing the multiverse. Strange is brought forth before the Illuminati for his trial, consisting of Mordo, Captain Peggy Carter, Blackagar Boltagon, Captain Maria Rambo, Reed Richards, and Charles Xavier. They believe that Doctor Strange remains the greatest threat in the universe, revealing that their counterpart of Strange had used the Darkhold to look for alternate ways to defeat Thanos. He found the Book of Vishanti, which the Illuminati used to kill him on Titan, but Strange confessed that he had caused an incursion, an event in which reality is destroyed, and thus volunteered to be executed to prevent further destruction. Meanwhile, Maximoff deploys the Darkhold to Dreamwalk into her Earth, 838 counterpart in Westview to interact with her children. However, Sarah Wolf manages to destroy the Darkhold, and she burns her alive in retaliation. She also threatens to kill other sorcerers if Wong does not reveal another method to Dreamwalk, leading him to reveal that the book was a copy. He takes her to a castle on Mount Wondagore where the Darkhold was first transcribed. Maximoff uses the castle's power to Dreamwalk back into her Earth, 838 self and raid the Illuminati, headquarters in search of Chavez. Before they could vote to execute Strange, Carter, Black Bolt, Rambo and Richards leave to respond, but Maximoff easily kills them. Xavier enters Maximoff's mind and attempts to liberate her from the Scarlet Witch, but fails as she snaps his neck. Mordo votes to kill Strange himself who tricks him into destroying his restraints before escaping. The Illuminati's efforts have also bought Palmer enough time to free Chavez, and the two escape into the sewers where they rendezvous with Strange. Maximoff continues to pursue them into the Gap Junction, where Strange retrieves the Book of Vishanti. However, Maximoff destroys it, takes control of Chavez, 
and uses her to send Strange and Palmer into another universe. She takes Chavez back to Earth-616, abandoning her alternate self who returns home to Westview. Maximoff then prepares a ritual to take her powers. Elsewhere, Strange and Palmer land in a universe that is being destroyed by an incursion and head towards its New York sanctum. There, they find a sinister counterpart of him who had been corrupted by his copy of the Dark Hold, possessing a third eye because of it. When questioned about the Dark Hold, the sinister counterpart warns against using it. But Strange engages in a musical battle in order to retrieve the book, believing it to be the only way to stop Maxima. The fight ends with Strange killing his evil counterpart, and Palmer reluctantly agrees to assist him as he dreamwalks into Defender Strange's corpse back on Earth-616. As he travels to Mount Wondagore, the spirits of the damned inhabiting the Darkhold attempt to attack Strange in both universes. But Palmer is able to protect Strange as he binds them into a cloak. He reunites with Wong, and they fight Maximoff, but are easily defeated. Despite their loss, Strange manages to inspire Chavez into refining her abilities against Maximoff, which results in her using her powers to send Maximoff back to Earth-838. There, she attacks her counterpart and attempts to comfort her kids, but they openly reject her. This causes Maximoff to collapse into tears, but her counterpart comforts her, breaking her out of the Darkhold's corruption. Realizing the destruction she had caused, Maximoff sacrifices herself to destroy the castle and every copy of the Darkhold within the multiverse as Wong and Chavez return to Camartage. Before they both return to their home universes, Strange admits to Palmer that while he has always loved her, he was too insecure about committing to a real relationship. Camartage begins to rebuild as Chavez starts her training in the mystical arts while Strange returns to New York and repairs the watches Palmer gifted to him. He takes a walk afterwards, only to collapse and cry out in pain as his third eye opens. Here it comes the ending, thanks for watching.